people drive cars. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh, yeah, like, pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bat him. To be honest, and I know... Whoa! And I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No oh, way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right, I'm deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. 
That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demand? No. This was a nice car. No, no, not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or Dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths? Changing our names, all the lying to the FIB, that monster Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers. Or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Oh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. <laughs> 